Hi all guys, here is another video review from ExtremeHardware.com Today we're looking at the Thermaltake T81 Urban cabinet which is a full tower design, full tower unit and uh, it has a lot of interesting features for example the presence of two 180mm fan in the front which with uh, removable filters for an easy cleaning uh, process um, and also another 180 millimeter fan in the upper side. This combination is very promising because uh, you can have uh, a very uh, ventilated uh, um, cabinet and very ventilated uh, units uh, in the inside. We can find uh, um, also another 140 millimeter fan in the back which is compatible with an under 120 mm fan. So it's a very um, um, nice uh, unit also because of the finitures. For example, we find uh, uh, something like uh, what should seem like uh, a brushed aluminum finiture in the front, um, but also uh, you can see that uh, uh, every every element of uh, of these chassis uh, it has a very high uh, quality in construction and uh, this is very um, uh, it's uh, it's uh, fantastic because uh, uh, the the chassis itself it's very robust um, now we will have a look in the uh, left side of the chassis. Uh, as you can see, we've got a window panel which has a lock and uh, you can open from the bottom. So you open the cabinet like this and uh, so it's very um, easy to maneuver and uh, easy to install the components but you can even detach this panel. So it's it's very easy to manage and uh, insert the components. In the back, uh, we we can see that uh, we can install uh, very tall uh, CPU coolers and a uh, very good number of uh, PCI Express solutions, and, uh, uh, and also also uh, a PSU without. Uh, um, problems regarding the length of the unit. Uh, you can even install some fans here and here. So uh, you can install a lot of fans. Uh, please refer to the written review for the details. Apart the uh, giant uh, um, uh, aperture in the inside where you can fit even um, XL ATX motherboard as you can see uh, this is a ASUS Rampage 2 Extreme, which is an, an ATX solution, and uh, you've got uh, plenty of space. Um, Thermaltake Thermal have also inserted a um, stealth cover for the uh, HDD and uh, 5.25 inches solutions. We can find two of them with a very nice block system, uh, which is very robust, and uh, uh, eight cages for 3.5 inches and 2.5 inches hard drive. Um, this is a very solid design, also because uh, you won't break these uh, uh, easily, and uh, uh, you uh, you can see that we've got. Uh, holes for the installation of an SSD uh, but uh, also rubber grommets for the uh, isolation of the 3.5 inches HDD so uh, we won't find any hot slot uh, um, <coughs> hot slot predisposition but um, uh, this is not an issue because we've got plenty of, of space in the back um, so that's almost all for the cabinets in the frontal and lateral part. 
uh, another important thing is that uh, as you can see the filters are easily removable and uh, so you've got also the possibility to install uh, a lot of uh, radiators in the inside in the lower part, in the frontal part because these cages you can easily remove them as shown by Thermal Take in uh, their website and uh, uh, so a lot of compatibility in the front, uh, in the bottom but also in the upper part, why? I will show you why this is the, ca uh, the, the case from the superior part our button, reset button low high speed button and uh, the USB 3.0 and 3.0 port what's this? you need to push firmly push come on ok and take this apart so you can see we've got a huge ventilation <coughs> opening here with a 180mm fan installed right here we got a lot of space this is a thermal right true copper 120mm as you can see it's not a um, uh, it's tall if I remember correctly it should be 1.15.8 um, centimeters so up to uh, 116 uh, millimeters but as you can see there is plenty of space here um, regarding the back now we will show you what's capable what are his capabilities unfortunately we had some issues with the cable routing on the back but this isn't clearly an issue because there isn't any um, modification in the uh, rigidity in the, um, the, the side panel it's very rigid as you can see here there's also another very interesting thing which is a fan controller pre-installed this one let's have a look the unit thermal take have uh, installed this unit which is nothing more than a PCB with uh, fan controllers with fan connectors 3 pin but you can install 4 pins in the sides um, uh, it's a very uh, interesting uh, fan controller because uh, you can directly control the fans the upper one and the frontal ones from the upper part of the case um, you can um, you can check the status of the fans with a uh, LED and uh, it's very useful as you can see here we've got some thumb screws which are needed to uh, remove these cages um, so as you can see we had a problem with the 24 pin connector from our uh, PSQ, but in reality, it's not uh, it's not a problem because we could have rooted this cable here, and you, as you can see that there's a there's a steep <laughs> uh, uh, placement. Um, it's more deep uh, than uh, here, so uh, you can arrange a better. Uh, cable layout um, which can be very good because of the with uh, we have a lot of uh, openings with uh, rubber grommets 
uh, so you won't hurt yourself because of uh, um, um, sharp edges and uh, we also can see that there's a huge opening in the upper side so you can uh, let this cable pass easily but also the uh, connectors for the uh, 8 pin and 8 plus 4 EPS 12 volts connectors for the uh, motherboard so uh, let's sum up all the elements of this cabinet it has a very very solid design this is not cheap steel also because it has a very nice depth and uh, we won't have any problem regarding the compatibility of the uh, CPU cooler or also the graphic card or, or even the PSU which you can install even models for example for uh, 1.5 uh, uh, kilowatts of power without problems and um, a lot of uh, HDD cages a lot of uh, liquid cooling storage uh, liquid cooling solutions and uh, you can easily install uh, a fan controller uh, without problems regarding uh, the installation or the settings for example here we've got a, a Lamptron CW 611 uh, marked by extreme hardware because <laughs> this is a um, limited edition unit in collaboration with Lamptron uh, we have got just 10 of them uh, in the world so uh, that's all uh, thank you for the interest in this video let us know what you think of this cabinet and uh, see you next time